Um, you ready, right? Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to roll. Okay, cool. Uh, just what uh, what kind of adjustment has the last week or so been? You go from thinking you're playing Notre Dame at, I guess, around this time last week, you found out that it was going to be a surprise off week for you. What's that been like for you as a player? Um, well, obviously, well, we, we got one full practice in for Notre Dame. And we were, we we're getting ready for that. And then, I mean, that's kind of been the, uh, the motto of the whole off season as well. I mean, expect the unexpected. Um, I mean, with this virus going about, uh, who knows who we're going to play and when we're going to play them. So, Coach, just he's been hounding us on, on telling us to just be ready. Um, he said, stay, stay ready and you don't got to get ready. That's what, that's what we've been preaching. So, so I got to keep that rolling. Was there any kind of, you know, you're told to you're told to stay ready and you're told to expect the unexpected, but there's still is there still a shock that comes with the initial news? Um, I, like me personally, I'm just glad that we're playing a season. So um, <laughs> honestly, uh, there's so much optimism and pessimism, like being a pessimist and optimist this whole off season. Just the fact that that every game is a blessing. Um, and I mean, I'm just I'm glad we get to play this week, and that's all that matters right now. So, do you identify as more of one of those or the other between optimist and pessimist? Oh, I'm I'm definitely more optimistic right now. So, yeah. You kind of made it sound like you're both an optimist and a pessimist. Is that one of those things that? No, I'm just I'm stating that as like our team as a whole. You know, like. There's guys thinking all kinds of different things, all these rumors going about, and you just got to be ready to play every week. What was the bye week like for you, Brandon? Uh, how did it vary from a normal bye week? Because it seems like it was much different because of the nature of the way things played out. Um, I mean, like I said, we got one full practice in for Notre Dame, and then we realized we weren't playing them. So, I mean, Coach wanted to get – yeah, at least our starters are too deep, a little bit of rest uh, the last few days. But, um, I mean, it's, it's been about as, as normal as a normal bye week, just, just maybe a little bit more practice because we were expecting to play a game. <laughs> so. Compared to the past, uh, like a month or so ago, how have restrictions changed for the team or have they not really changed at all? Restrictions as in, what do you mean by that? Just like COVID related restrictions of what you guys are allowed to do um, in terms of different procedures and protocols. Oh, I mean, it's, it's been wear a mask everywhere you go, no matter what. I mean, even, even when we first got, got back on campus and as it is right now, um, that, cause especially like with teams like Notre Dame and, and other teams that are having outbreaks, um, that a lot of that's due to lack of mask wearing in, uh, in the uh, locker rooms. So, Coach has been uh, really instilling that in us and making sure we're wearing the mask uh, everywhere we go. Based on what you what what you've seen, uh, do you think that players and uh, your teammates are, you know, uh, still acting as responsibly as they were maybe a month ago, or are they kind of getting tired of you know the same old mask wearing all the time and getting maybe lazy with it? Um, I mean, you can ask any one of us. I mean, it's getting it's getting it's getting pretty old, but I mean, it's something that that we've we've gotten really good at and and most everybody is taking that very seriously on this team. Brandon, what do you know about Campbell, you know, and what do you guys need to do to be able to move the move the ball effectively this Friday night? Um well obviously they're an FCS opponent. Um but I mean they got some good players and coach coach has been telling us all week, I mean, they're gonna come in guns a blazing. I mean, um they're guys that, that didn't didn't a lot of them didn't get an offer from Wake, and and they're going to be coming in with with uh, this mentality where they're just going to try to get after us, and, and we got to be able to to you know just get get on them right off the get go. And I mean, a, a lot of schools uh, they look at FCS opponents as kind of you know we're just going to steamroll them, but we can never have that mentality no matter what game we play. So I mean, Campbell's a good team and. And uh, we got to come in with the same mentality that we always have, and, and we got to get on them early and, and play our game. Have you been happy with how the? Go ahead, Eddie. Just 
with Campbell, the way they played Georgia Southern, they played App State last week. Have you been able – were you impressed with just the team and, and getting prepared for them, how they've played other FBS schools? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, they uh, they play they play competitively. I mean, just watching the film, I mean, they they got a couple of D linemen that get after it and they're, they're DBs. And uh, from what I hear, they're, they're offensive side of the ball. They got some good athletes, so – yeah, I mean, there there's some competitors. I mean, there's still a, a D1 football program. For you guys on the offense, you know, you had this extra time. What is it? What are the things that you're going to try to do this week that are that's been different from you know against Clemson or NC State? Uh, we just got to play our game. I mean, coach had been saying that we we got to have a great uh, great running. Um, we got to get on them on the ground. Uh, we want to have a, a good a good uh, game rushing the ball. And um, I mean, obviously in the air as well. So um, we're just taking it on just like any other week. And um, we just got to play our game and, and move the ball. You know what I mean? How hungry. I mean, you guys unfortunately had the bye week last week. So you yeah. got to be hungry to get back on the field. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I was saying, I mean, any, any chance we can get back on the field, man, it's, it's, it's a blessing. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of our guys, we're, we're ready to roll. We're ready to get back on the field. And, and play the game. Ben, were you happy with how you guys were able to establish a run game against NC State last week? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, it was really good to see. Uh, we were running the ball really well. Uh, Kenneth Walker, uh, Christian Beal. It felt really good. I mean, uh, obviously, we, we have a lot of things that we got to work on, but, but just being able to move the ball and seeing that against uh, a team like NC State, I mean, it was, it was good to see. And, and it's it's uh, making us feel confident for the future. Brandon, does the tight ends room get a little more fired up to go back and watch film of plays with three y'all in the game together on the short yardage <laughs> packages? Man, I mean, it's been it's been a few years since we've ran three tight end packages, and it's it's really awesome. I mean, that's the kind of football that I mean any tight end wants to play play in. So. It's awesome seeing Connor Hebler out there get some snaps and, and move some people. And obviously, Blake, Blake got his first catch against NC State, and that was, that was awesome. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, as a tight end, that's, that's some, some prideful showing right there. What, what do you think it means to Connor to be able to come in and, and make a big seal block on a touchdown run in the fourth quarter when – you know, he's a guy that I imagine you probably went up against him in one-on-ones a couple of times back when he was a D lineman. Yeah, I sure did. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, Hebler, it doesn't matter where you put him on the field. He's, he's a competitor, and he just wants to get on the field and play. And just see, I mean, just seeing that on film, him moving guys and him and kicking guys out, is just, it's awesome to see. It's, it's well-deserved. I guess the that kind of package, the it was kind of the wild Cade last year. It looked like it could yeah. be wild Christian or wild Kenneth. I think both of them took direct snaps against State. Yeah. That that was something that last year was born out of seemed to be born out of necessity because short yardage struggled so much in like yeah. the the middle early stages of the season. It seems like you guys found something there that's that's sustainable this year too. Like that's that's something oh, yeah. that it's carried carried over my yeah, about right with that yeah no I mean why stop something that works you know that's that's what I think and why stop something that gets multiple tight ends in the game like, <laughs> yeah. you guys are so used to being out there for 10 plays in a row and oh yeah yeah you got it you know so <laughs> Are we good? Thanks, good. Brandon. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Sir. Have a good one. Thank you. And if you want.